person, Tibbles, knows the way to my heart, or my belly for that matter, and that is with one of her wonderful creations. Kirst, what are you making today? I'm going to make some shoe pastry puffs, mm -hmm. and I'm going to fill them with a caramelised cream and almonds. Oh, stop it. Shut the front door. <laughs> <laughs> really no easy yep. and really yummy. OK, go for it. So we've got some unsalted butter that mm -hmm. I'm going to put in the pot. Mm -hmm. Milk. So shoe pastry is great because it's really versatile. You can make lots of different shapes. So eclairs come mm. from shoe pastry. The little rings that we call Paris breast. One year you made a Paris breast and you also made these delicious coffee eclairs. They were so delicious. I can still taste them. So in here we've got butter, milk, water and a little bit of salt. We're going to bring that up to a boil. Then we're going to add some flour. Mm -hmm. And when you do add the flour, that's when Kirsten gets to work by whipping it really good. <laughs> like it's a workout. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off, Justine, if you don't mind adding in our plain flour. Okay, all at once? All at once. So the plain flour has gluten and that's what holds the shoe pastry together. So now we have to develop the gluten by mixing it. So as soon as it's mixed in, we're going to turn the heat back on and we just mix it until it gets an oily sheen on the surface. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Popped out. Good. Let me take that off your hands, Kaz. <laughs> so this is going to go into the food processor now? Yes. So you can use a stand mixer or we can use a food processor. If you use a stand mixer, use a paddle attachment. Yep. Now we're going to add in eggs. So it's always best to break and crack your eggs up first mm -hmm. and break them up a little bit. Because it varies how much you actually boil the mixture, you don't always have to add all the eggs. So I'm going to show you how to test it. All right, and on a medium speed, is that where I've Yeah. Okay. All right. Ooh, that's looking good. It is looking good. <laughs> so we're going to test it now. If you want to take a spoon of it out, and that. it should just really slowly glide off the spoon. That is amazing. Perfect. Just falling off. Okay. So what I have now is a piping bag with a star nozzle, but you could do as my nana used to. She used to just put big spoonfuls onto a tray and bake it. Pre-form. That's something I would do, but when Kirst is here, we do it with a nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> And see how when I put it in the bag, I use the bag to actually clean the spoon mm. off, which makes it easier. Much easier. And we haven't added any sugar to this, so you could make uh, savoury That's a really good idea. you'd think of that. Yeah. I'm all about the sweet. I know. <laughs> I just love cheese. So, like, with a glass of wine before you have dinner. Oh, look at you. Mm. A bit of smoked salmon. Oh, yes. So we've got a tray here. We've just buttered it um, and we've just sieved on a little flour. Yes. Mm -hmm. So okay. I want it to stick a little bit to the tray so we get a nice base on it. Nice one. Now, you know I like to pipe all these to perfection. Oh, just gorgeous. And how many little almond flakes are we adding? Exactly 4.5. No, not really. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just sprinkle some flaked almonds on top. And Kirst, how long are we cooking it in the oven for and what temperature? We're going to bake these at 130 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. And then we're going to increase the temperature to 170 for approximately 10 minutes or until they're golden brown. Then turn off the oven, pull the oven door ajar and just let them dry out for 10 or 15 minutes. Sounds good. Well, Kirst, aren't these a sight for sore eyes? They're just perfectly golden brown, as suspected. They are just a perfect <laughs> bite size. We're now going to create the cream which is going to go inside. Mm, so nice. I've got some fresh cream here. Make sure it's really cold. Okay. And what's in this mysterious can? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done a bit of work beforehand mm -hmm. to make this process a little bit faster. So what I've actually done is simmered some condensed milk for two hours. So just keep topping up the water mm -hmm. and then you have a beautiful caramelised condensed milk or you call it dolce leche. Dolce leche. Oh, <laughs> so decadent. Does that go in now with the cream? That goes in now with the cream. Okay. Make sure, of course, that that has cooled down completely before you start whipping it up with the cream. Yes. And if you can also just grab a pinch of salt. Can do. Ooh, salted caramel cream. Yummo. 
Now I'm going to whip this up while I'm whipping that. Do you mind finely chopping the roasted almonds? They have to be fine enough so when we pipe them they can go through a piping nozzle. Okay. No pressure. <laughs> Bit of pressure. <laughs> Good. That's looking good. So, Justine, if you don't mind folding those roasted almonds through. Sure can. And I'm going to start cutting these shoe puffs. And it's best to use a serrated edge knife to cut these. Okay. And we're just going to just gently cut through. Now, if you want to be like me and a perfectionist, you can actually take out this bit of dough in the centre. Ooh, it's a little chef's treat. Just for you. <sighs> but also gives you more room for filling. <laughs> And am I placing this in the piping bag? Yes, please. And this cream just looks absolutely decadent. It's a great little tip to be using condensed milk uh, because as it, as it cooks for that long, it really does become quite toffee-like. It does. I think it actually reduces the sweetness a little bit, but mm. we're sweetening the cream with more like a caramel sweetness rather than just adding sugar. Mm. Divine. All right, cream is ready for you. Now, do you want a pipe? Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to pipe in a spiral similar to what we did with the shoe pastry. Okay. Give it a little bit of height. So it oozes out the side as you bite into it. And pop the lids on. Lids on, thank you. And a little dusting of icing sugar. They really remind me of the pastry shops in France where you go and you see them in the window and you just can't help yourself but to buy not only the caramel shoe pastries but also the vanilla and the chocolate. Oh, look how fresh they are. So these are best to actually be filled when you're going to eat them mm -hmm. so the pastry is really nice and crunchy. Mm. I know we should definitely try this one. <laughs> one each? One each. All okay. right. That one. <laughs> this is why I love you because you make the most delicious pastries that that is one of your finest thank <laughs> so you so good <laughs>